Hey everyone! Today I'm going to open up these two Jurassic World Stompers. These are kind of like plush stuffed animals, but they're not really stuffed. They're hard plastic on the inside, but they have a nice soft cloth, and you can hear them in the store. You can activate them and test them out. They are electronic, and they have sounds and motion. So let's get these open. Let's check out the warnings and stuff. They're for ages four plus. So uh, wait till your child is four years old before giving this to them. There's some information there. Stop motion, some warnings. And here's some information right here. Some poses may require additional support. There's a phone number. Uh, there's a nice picture. Here uh, are some other ones. Here is the stegosaurus that I have now and a hatchling. Hatchling is a different type of toy. I will be doing that in a separate video. I have two different hatchlings. Let's see, here is some information here. Where it is made. Here's the barcode and that and made in China. There's a serial number of some type. All right. And I think the other box is pretty much the same, except for the picture. Stomp motion also. Same information there. And slightly different pictures on the bottom. It shows the other hatchling and the triceratops. All right, so to get these open, I'm going to cut here and here at first. And let's see what else we need to cut. I don't like to tear the packaging open. Sometimes I like to be able to put it back together. All right, uh, let's see. This comes open like that. And there's another piece of tape. All right, we got some string. I, I was thinking that there was gonna be screws, but luckily there's no screws. All right, let me get this open and I'll be right back. All right, there is a small instruction sheet see what we got here. Probably just going to be information about the batteries. Okay, on, there's an on-off switch. That's good to know. Um, let's see, how to put in the batteries when you need to replace them. Here's some information there. And here, just pause it if you need to read it. One more, this side. This is in several different languages. Let's see, this is kind of small print. Oh, this is the FCC stuff. I don't think anyone ever needs to know that, do they? Yes, we know that it's not supposed to interfere with our other electronic devices. All right, so the string, how does that attach in there? I don't know. Can you just pull that out? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to, well, that's weird. That's really in there. Okay, here it comes. Just, you have to pull it really hard. Okie dokie, here we go. Here is Triceratops. Let's see, does it walk? Let's put that one right there. Okay, go. The switch is right here, under the cloth. There it goes. Don't fall off the table. Okay, just go. Alright, so let me, I'll do that some more in a little while. Let's check out the uh, quality here. Got some really nice eyes, they're kind of clear. Um, this one has brown eyes. The other one has yellow. You'll see those in a minute. The horns are slightly bendable, a little bit soft. Got nice felt little horns here rounded horns. This is also plastic, but it's very small, so it's not really bendable, just because of the size. The mouth here is plastic, and inside here is cloth. It's cloth on the bottom. It's got Velcro, so you can uh, take this tag right here and kind of... Well, let me, let's, let's take a look at this before we close it. There's a speaker hole. Oh, here's on-off switch. Wait, is that on or off? Now it says on. It was actually, oh, try me. Okay, so off is in the middle. 
Can't really. Do it. All right, I'll, I'll just leave it on position. Okay, batteries. And let's stick that back in there. And close it. Okay. All right, let me get this one open. I'll be right back. All right, now I've got two of these open. Let's take a look at here. Let's see. Oh, this one's got extra little flaps. All right, let's see. Where's the switch? This one's got a yellow switch. Is it in try me? I can't really see. Yes, try me off and on. So I'm going to put that in on. This one. The tag you cannot put on the inside. The tag's hanging out here. Whereas this one, I kind of shoved the tag inside the Velcro. Can't do that with this one. That's too bad. All right, let's Velcro it up. Okay. So, let's play with this one for a little bit. Okay, so this is the switch right here. This plate. Okay, you have to take your wait your turn. I'm doing Stegosaurus right now. Okay, so I guess, alright, I guess they both want to go. But anyways, here is Stegosaurus. He walks. When you leave him in the on position, uh, sometimes they kind of do stuff by themselves. Like, I'm not not touching them right now. And you see that one is going. Let's see if they uh, respond to noise. Hold on. I'm not sure. That one definitely likes to do stuff by itself. This, the Stegosaurus does not seem to be as active. He's, this one's moving because I touched it, but uh, the Triceratops likes to do lots and lots of stuff. He was moving a lot while I was opening the Stegosaurus. All right, they've both calmed down a little bit. No, 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 he's, okay, this one's definitely, he likes to do stuff. All right, I don't, I'm not sure what, what's going on with them. They just like to move around sometimes. All right, so anyways, you can make them move by activating their switches. Which is, uh oh, don't fall off. Okay, I have lost the switch now. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. All right, here, let's take a look at the Stegosaurus, his yellow eyes. Very nice. It's a nice plastic head. That one has the cloth head. So this one, has more detail. It's got plastic on the inside of the top and the bottom. Okay. It's got, you can kind of feel like one giant rib right here. It's got plastic tail spikes. These are kind of hard. A little bit bendable. Not really much though. Okay, we've got some uh, different color on the feet. What about this one? Yes, that one's also a different color on the feet. All right. All right, let's do some serious testing right now. Let's turn one off. Triceratops, you're making too much noise. Okay, it's hard to get it into off because it's right in the middle. Okay, that's off. All right, it's Stegosaurus time only here in the bad dinosaur corner. Okay, so here's the stuff that Stegosaurus does. If you just mess with him, he's not really doing stuff. All right, but let's do that. We got some tail wagging action. We got some head moving action. Stomping noise. Roaring. And he runs quite a bit. Also, they've got the Jurassic World logo right there, embroidered in. Okay, I think if you open the mouth, you can make a chewing noise. So you could pretend to feed it. Which is pretty cool. All right, let's see if we could make him do anything else. I don't think so. Try moving the tail now. 
All right, he's got, uh, oh, so let's look at the spike. I mean, the uh, plates. Just got some nice detailing. The switch plate has a different pattern of paint. Okay, it's got a nice section down the middle here. It's got this one little extra piece sewn in. And the cloth has kind of a scale texture to it. I mean, there's coloring, there's like uh, spots and stuff, but the cloth also is kind of bumpy. I don't know if you can see that right here. All right, I think that's all the noises this guy makes and all the things he does. All right, so let's turn him off. And, or her, where did the switch go? Let's put it in the off position. Okay, now we will try these triceratops again. Okay. All right, so let's try the mouth. Wait, I didn't do that. He's doing that by himself. Stop. All right, let's try the mouth. No, stop, stop, stop. I just want to... I just want some chewing noises, like the stegosaurus. Come on. Can you do it? Come on. I'm feeding you plants and stuff. Don't you like plants? Or are you too smart? You need some real plants. I don't know. I don't think he makes the eating noise. He's got a little roar there. The mouth does open and close. All right, he just roars when you do that. When you open and close the mouth. All right, so and you want if you want him to stomp, you just push the button that's on his back or her back. Well, some sometimes it stomps and sometimes it just roars. Let's try that again. Okay, you're, you're a stomper, you're gonna have to stomp, all right? Come on, come on, stomp. Come on, go. Actually, there's two buttons. There's a button right here. And there's a button right here. So let's try the other button. You're supposed to go. <clears throat> Alright, see, like, here is this button. Wait, I didn't push it yet. He's doing that by himself. Okay, that's this button. Alright, and now this button. Feels like two. I'm gonna know if it. Oh, there he goes. There we go. It's just, it just does whatever it wants to do, I think. Like, if it wants to walk, it'll walk. If it doesn't want to walk, it's just not going to go. See, like, I've, I've been pushing the button a whole bunch of times. I'm really not sure if it's one button or two. It feels like it could be two. Or just one giant one. But this one really just does not respond much to what you want it to do. There's the Jurassic World logo. And the uh, fabric is really shiny. Has a little bit less texture than the other one. And, uh, oh, there he goes. Okay, maybe, maybe you put it down. It feels, you can feel a lot of ribs or something right in here. It feels like he's got a rib cage. Maybe about five ribs, small ones. This one doesn't have that. This one has one giant rounded rib thing. This one feels nicer on the inside, right here. I'm still not sure how to make him stomp when you want him to stomp. He seems to just walk when he wants to. All 
All right, let's just turn them both on and just play with them a little bit. Let's see, where did the switch go? Is that on, I think? All right, fight. Even though you're plant eaters, you can still fight, right? Go. Huh. Stegosaurus isn't really good at fighting because he doesn't care. Triceratops is more of a fighter. There. Oh! That looked like it hurt. The Stegosaurus would rather just walk away from a fight and go find some plants to eat. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more, especially when I do the uh, hatchling video because I have these two hatchlings right here. the. T-Rex and the uh, Pterodactyl. So thanks for watching. Bye.